Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. After the Marine Corps, I was diagnosed with PTSD and became homeless for 15 years. Like a hermit living on the street, I just existed. I came to Willow Mission. Wheeler operates on a culture of kindness. Going through their programs reminded me that my meaning in life is to serve God. God set me free from anxiety and depression. Before Wheeler, I just existed, but today I live. Sprinkles if you got them. Jack's Donuts, find a location near you now. Hey conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid still queen? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! I get her! No solo! You see it like it? Yeah, Come on! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Bishop Chatard High School as we bring you high school volleyball right here on Indiana SRN. Tonight, it'll be Chatard coming in at 5-5 five and five overall. They're 1-1 one one in conference play. They've lost their last two. And Cathedral coming in at 8-5 and five on the year. They've now lost three of their last four. Tonight's game brought to you in part by the Morales Group, building better futures one story at a time. Also by Burtner Electric, your licensed and experienced electricians serving Central Indiana. IU Sports Management, a lifetime of sports with a winning degree. Piper Logistics, three service, one logistical solution. And by Reynolds Farm Equipment, your hometown farm equipment dealer. Great to have you with us. Troy Dargowski with you on a Tuesday night for high school volleyball. We're four weeks in, and really a story tonight when you look at these two teams, might be more of Cathedral than it is Bishop Chittard. And the reason I say that, the last time we had Cathedral, they knocked off an Assumption Kentucky team at home who was nationally ranked. But since then, Cathedral has hit some tough times. As mentioned a little bit ago, they've now lost three of their last four games. And on the road, they're an even two and two on the season. You go back to this past weekend, they opened up with a nice win over Columbus East. 
They hit well at three, almost 31% in their hitting percentage. They had a 47.5 kill percentage, eight aces, and get this, they served at 98%. But then all of a sudden things fell apart. They play Fishers. They get up in the first set against Fishers, end up losing two games to one. The Fighting Irish, you can tell their numbers were drastically different, different from their first matchup. Columbus East, again, that matchup, they hit 305. But in the Fishers matchup, they hit just 107. And their kill percentage dropped all the way down to 32. Still served well at 95%. But then let's go to the Providence matchup. The number six team in the Indiana SRN power pole. Providence won it 2 to nothing. In fact, won it rather easily, 25-14 and 25-15. But then Cathedral hit only 0.79% in that game. That's one area. When you look at Bishop Chittard coming into this one, they lost their last two. They lost to a good try West Hendricks team, 3-0. Didn't hit well at all. In fact, they were at 0.10% in that game. Then they turned around and played a Lawrence North team and lost that one in their last matchup. Hit only 165 their kill percentage at 36.5, but they had 12 service errors in that matchup. They've got to find a way tonight to serve better because I have a feeling the way Cathedral finished out their two games against Fishers and Providence, they will definitely want to get on track here tonight. And I have a feeling Cathedral will be a little more focused in this one here this evening. By the way, Cathedral is number 18 this week. In the Indiana SRN Power Poll, Bishop Chittard not ranked this week. These two teams will be back in action as a busy, busy week will continue. In fact, you look at Cathedral, they're going to play at Lawrence North coming up on Thursday. So they will be right back at it once again. And Chittard will be back in action tomorrow night as well. Cathedral again at 8-5 and five on the season. They've lost their last two. You look at Chittard, they're 5-5 five and five on the season. They, too, have lost their last two matchups. When we get an opportunity tonight, we will pass along the Indiana SRN power poll in Indiana Volleyball. We'll give you the top ten teams in just a few minutes. In fact, while we do it right now, we have a couple of moments. Hamilton Southeastern is number one. They are eight and one on this season. Yorktown comes at number two. They're 12 and one. McCutcheon is number three at 10 and one. And of course, a very good Brownsburg team. They are 11 and one on the season, certainly led by Quincy and Aza Thomas, two of the top players in the state of Indiana. Fort Wayne Carroll is the only team that's undefeated in our top 10. They are 13 and 0 on the season. We just talked a little bit ago about Providence after their win over Cathedral. Providence improving to 13 and five over the weekend. Brabuff, 10 and two. They can make a strong run here at the end of the season. Then it's Westfield at seven and three. Western Boone at nine and one. And Belmont in the top 10 this week. They are 12 and three on the season. Cathedral will be on the road tonight for just the fifth time this year. That'll match the amount of home matches they have had. They're three and two at home, two and two on the road, and in neutral sites, they are three and one. And Bishop Chittard, you see they'll be in the home white tonight. They are looking forward to this matchup here this evening. And again, losing their last two, hoping to get back on track coming up here tonight and keep an eye on Cathedral in their size. Seven players are 5'10 or taller. And we talked about that in that matchup against Assumption and it paid huge dividends. This is a Bishop Chittard team that does not have the same kind of size. They have two players that are 5'10 or taller. That'll be Lexi Thatcher who leads the team in aces and Amira Lockett who's also 5'10 is a middle hitter and an outside hitter for Bishop Chittard. We'll come back, get things underway coming up in a couple of moments. Stay right there. This is High School Volleyball on Indiana SRN. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. 
along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. You want a career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with India as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. This is the Frells family's land. When the sun comes out, the kids run and play right there. This used to be a shed. Now, it's where they get breakfast. This is more than just land. It's home. The Frells family runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor. This land isn't the only thing that should live on for generations. Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere 1 Series for more. Visit Reynolds Farm Equipment, your hometown John Deere dealer today, at ReynoldsFarmEquipment.com. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to $17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter, at IndianaSRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now at Indiana SRN. Bishop Chittard will be on the left. The Fighting Irish of Cathedral on the right. We are set for the first matchup here tonight of the varsity teams as Bishop Chittard again at 5-5 five and five on the year. Cathedral at 8-5. and five. This broadcast is copyrighted by Indiana SRN and the Indiana High School Athletic Association for the private use of our audience. The use of pictures, video, and audio without the expressed written permission of the IHSAA is prohibited. Boy, so many games we've done this year. It is going to be a game of momentum, a game of putting points together. And as we talked about for Chittard a little bit ago, they must play air-free volleyball here tonight. We didn't talk much about that Lawrence North matchup. They did have nine receiving errors that night. That's a tough one to go on. And then they, when you think about the amount of errors they made in the service department, they committed 12. You're talking about 21 points given up between receiving errors and service errors in their loss to Lawrence North. Their service percentage only at 80%. So I'm sure that's something they probably worked on if they did practice yesterday to get ready for today's matchup. Irish will serve as we're ready for this opening set. Numbers for the Irish will be a little bit hard to see what they go and normally go black on black on the road and we are underway. To the outside, not a good set as the battle at the net and eventually returned there by Chittard. Outside left and the first point of the night, Fighting Irish will score first. That is Mallory Dills on the board. And Cathedral leads it one to nothing. You saw that earlier set. That's a receiving error committed by Bishop Chittard where they had no offense and basically gave a free ball back to Cathedral. Another freebie. So two in a row and a middle set. Hit well, nothing there. And from behind the attack line, off Taylor Lewis, and the battle at the net's going to be won by the Fighting Irish, and they lead it two to nothing. And that's one area, again, where they have the advantage with all the players they have. Seven of those players, five ten or taller, and there are times where they can go six one, six foot six two on that front row. Short set sweep to the back row. The Cathedral defensively plays it well and makes the return. 
The sweep to the right, and that'll be a point for the Fighting Irish. That'll be four hits against Chittard. So an early 3 to nothing lead for the Fighting Irish. Side out, plus three. Went to that middle back zone to the outside. On the cross-court attack, nothing. From behind the attack line again, that's Taylor Lewis. And the cross-court attack, good once again. That's going to be Mallory Dills, the second kill she's had already in this opening set. If you are a fan of Cathedral Volleyball, what they went through this past weekend, though they played some good teams, they want to get back on track before they play Lawrence North on Thursday. So an early 4 to nothing lead. Back set to the right on the slide. Defended well, but then no return. Point will go to the Trojans for the first time tonight. Side out. This will be Lexi Thatcher, the 5'11 senior. Thatcher leads the team in aces with 17 on the year. See if the Trojans can mount a little run here, but once again, the hot hand to the outside. That'll be Mallory Dills. That's her third kill already here in the opening set. And an early 5-1 lead now for the Fighting Irish, and Dills will serve. See how the Trojans will respond here. You don't want Cathedral to get up too far in this opening set. Especially since you have struggled in the hitting department, that'll be a point for the Fighting Irish. Looked like that might have been number 12 that time. Taylor Lewis. So side out Cathedral plus five. You make a big point. In fact, you go back to that Chittard matchup against Tri-West. They did commit just four receiving errors. There's another point for the Irish. They only had four receiving errors in that matchup against Tri-West, but had nine against Lawrence North. Timeout on the floor. This is High School Volleyball on Indiana SRN. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. Why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services, at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified applicants. Back here at Chittard, Bishop Chittard High School. 7-1 your score here in the opening set. Side out again for Mallory Dills and the Fighting Irish after that timeout by Bishop Chittard. And there's another receiving error on that back row. And it's now the biggest lead at 7-1. to one. Chittard will have to really work diligently now to get back into this one. This is a quick scoring team. There's a free ball there by Chittard. Back set to the right, cross court attack. Yes, and the point. Mallory Dills off that right side. Able to get another kill. And that eight point deficit might be a lot to come back from for Bishop Chittard. And there's another misplay, this time by Lauren Shanks, the 5'8 senior. And this is a nice run for the Fighting Irish. On the road, you want to get that opening set if you possibly can and really put pressure back on the home team. And Cathedral's done exactly that in this first set. Back set to the right, and the point will go to the Fighting Irish. Four hits on the attempt there by Amira Lockett, the 5'10 junior, who's an outside hitter, will move to the middle as well. The 10-point deficit now the biggest. Short set to the middle and stopped right there. Grace Feltz, the senior, stops the run. Feltz, 18 blocks this year. Side out now by Lockett. 
Lock at 80 kills on the year, averaging 2.8 kills per set. Went deep middle. And the return by the Fighting Irish to the outside, just inside the attack line. That is going to be wide off the swing by McGillicuddy. And it back now to a 10-point lead. Coming into the lineup now for Cathedral will be number 15, Josie Myers. Now, Myers, only a sophomore. We talk about the size, and Myers at six foot two. She's up on that front row. She played very well against Assumption the last time we had the broadcast of Cathedral Volleyball. To the outside, the swing by Shanks, and the point will go to the Trojans. That'll be a, like a net violation called against Cameron Utley. So side out for Bishop Chittard. From the attack line, big time point there and give the kill there to Taylor Lewis. 6-1 a junior, the outside hitter coming back strong and the lead back to 10. Cameron Utley, a 5'8 junior now will Serve for the Fighting Irish, leading it by 10. Short set, middle, good block up front. There's the long arms again. When you start talking about the play of Josie Myers, but they're going to say she went over the net a little bit too far, so a net violation against the Fighting Irish and now leading it by nine. Coming out of the lineup will be McGillicuddy for the Trojans. And it'll be side out here for Riley Kramer, a 5'7 senior. Here's where Bishop Chittard needs to make a little run. Nice middle set, but they hit too long, and the point will go to Bishop Chittard. Kramer on the year. Very good server, one of the better servers to the outside in another big swing. And give credit there to Taylor Lewis. She has played well on the outside, the 6'1 junior. She, along with Mallory Dills, have gotten off to a good start here tonight for the Fighting Irish, now leading it by nine. So far, Chittard has been unable, unable to get back to within a striking distance so far. Big play at the net, and the point goes to the Fighting Irish in there. Again, is your 6'2 sophomore, Josie Myers. Myers and only 6'2, long arms and very active. She can either play in the middle or the outside. Bishop Chittard, outside left. Another nice block up front kept alive as the Irish have a chance here. Middle from the attack line, that'll be wide. Good effort, though, for the Irish. And the lead back to nine, as we'll see Amira Lockett come back in. And Bishop Chittard will go back to Lauren Shanks on the serve. Set one. See if Bishop Chittard can come back. That is your first service error of the night. So actually, they have uh, done a relatively good job when they have served so far here this evening. Coming off the 12 service errors against Lawrence North. Into the lineup now for Cathedral. One of those will be Avery Lewis. She is at six foot. They replace Josie Myers. Don't lose a whole lot of height on that front row. And there's a receiving air by the Trojans. And the lead at 11. It's easy to say when we start talking about Bishop Chittard that they struggled a little bit in those matchups against Tri-West Hendricks and Lawrence North, but this is a little different animal right here. I know that Cathedral has hit some hard times over the last few games, but they played some very good teams. Quick push open in the middle. Great play there for the Fighting Irish. That was Cameron Utley. Able to get the point there. Now the lead at 12. That is your biggest of this opening set. Slide to the right, back set, no. 
Irish, short set, middle. Defended well by Sh Bishop Chittard, and then another long arm stop that time by Lewis, and then the return with the left hand no by Lockett. And the point again to the Fighting Irish. We saw them against Assumption, as we mentioned, Cathedral, and they scored quickly. When they got a roll going, they were tough to stop, and when you sent the ball close to the net like that, that will cost you. And that was set up easily for Avery Lewis for the big kill, and we've got a timeout on the floor. 20-6, to six, Cathedral. This is High School Volleyball in India on SRN. Back here at Bishop Chittard High School, you saw the one official. In fact, you see her now heading back. She is the floor official. I think she was talking with some fans just off to our right. And it might be one of the student sections. I'm assuming that's a Cathedral student section because Cathedral on this side. So we'll see and we'll keep an eye on that, see if that plays any in any part of this matchup the rest of the way. To the outside, and nice block up front, and the point goes to Chittard. Lexi Thatcher there for the Trojans. Thatcher at 5'11", she is the tallest player for Bishop Chittard. Side out now Trojans, and here is Quinn Johnson. 121 digs this year, leading the team for Bishop Chittard. On the run, cross-court attack, and no. Off the right arm of number eight, Mallory Dills. And side out once again now for Quinn Johnson. The deficit now at 12 for Bishop Chittard. Ball set at the net, and a misplay. Very rare misplay tonight against Cathedral. And now three straight points put on the board for Chittard. Long way to go. You get to that magic 20. That's kind of the number. And then you know as the back set goes to the right, but blocked out of bounds, last touched by Lockett. But you know that when you get to 20, you cannot make any more mistakes the rest of the way. And you've got to have some pretty strong runs as well. Side out, and there's some miscommunication on that back row. The ace there for the Fighting Irish. And that's another thing you have to do. You've got to communicate. So Irish now lead it 22 to 9. Short set to the middle, and they find the open hole. I don't think it was hit that well by Grace Feltz, but just enough. And another change here for Bishop Chittard as Sarah McGillicuddy will come back in. And Lexi Thatcher will be serving minus 12 here in the opening set. Tournament time isn't all that far away when you consider how many matches these teams will be playing here relatively soon. And it falls right in front of Quinn Johnson. Rotation a little bit slow getting over that time for the Trojans. And now Cathedral just two away from dominating this opening set. Here tonight, it'll be Mallory Dills, the 5'10 senior now serving. Chittard back to the middle once again. The sweep of the right hand, but that's going to be a net violation against Chittard, and now we're at set point. 
Tartan making some costly errors again down the stretch. We'll have to regroup for set number two. And what do we have here? Another net violation, and that will end the opening set. Cathedral easily winning this first set, 25-10. Stay right there. This is high school volleyball on Indian SRN. High school football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirits. To pure sports. Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is Friday night. This is Indiana high school football. This is your IHSAA. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org officials today. Hi, I'm Matt Wolfer, President of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 160,000 participants here in Indiana who take part in high school sports. Welcome back to Bishop Chatard High School. There you see Cathedral winning that opening set, 25-10. A reminder, tonight's game brought to you in part by Serenity Home Care. Serenity Care Services is an Indiana-licensed personal agency and Medicaid waiver service provider in central Indiana. They're friendly, competent, and an experienced team of caregivers you have been seeking. For more information, go to their website at serenitycareservices.net. By the way, the good news, if you're a Trojan fan, only one service error tonight. But they had several receiving errors. That's coming off the nine they had against Lawrence North. So the good news is they're doing better in the serving area, but they got to find a way to set things up on offense. Had too many free balls given back to Cathedral in that opening set. When you're looking at Cathedral, Mallory Dills played extremely well in that opening set, as did Taylor Lewis, and of course, Josie Myers coming off the bench. Had excellent play in the middle of that front row. But right now, the Irish will go with Avery Lewis up front, one of the three. Number 13 is in there, Hannah Barbie. 5'10", senior outside hitter, will also play in the middle. So Barbie getting her first opportunity to play here tonight. And for Bishop Chittard, it'll be Lexi Thatcher to serve. So let's see if the Trojans can get off to a better start here in this second set to the outside for the Irish. Nice job by Thatcher to keep that one alive on the dig. To the middle, Nat, a little bit of miscommunication there. I think it was intended for Lewis. But Lewis bypassed it, let it go over her head to the corner. And unfortunately, nobody, nobody was there to receive it, so one to nothing, Trojans. Irish short set middle, and that's going to be long. So good start for the Trojans, leading it two to nothing. We saw the 
Fighting Irish against Assumption. There were times that as good as Assumption is, they gave up some easy points. Serve down the line. Let's see what the Fighting Irish should do. Back set and point will go to the Irish. That one was touched up front. I think it was Grace Feltz who got a hand on it. Get an opportunity, we can even talk a little bit about volleyball. As that one is kept alive there by the Irish. To the outside, nope, take that back. That's the middle, good swing there by Lockett. And then the Irish come back, get the point. Ball was set right in the middle and number 14, Avery Lewis was there. By the way, in volleyball, which went to four classes in 96-97, 14 of the 25-3A champions are private parochial schools as that will be another point for the Fighting Irish. And overall, 40 of the 100 volleyball champions in the class era, private parochial, is at 40 of the 100 champions. That's 40% there. In the single class, pre-97, 22 of 25 champions were public schools. That's an interesting number right there for volleyball. So... You see, as Cathedral able to get another point there, just how strong the private and parochial schools are. In our power poll, even right now going into this one, though, not as many. You look at Brebuff is the only team in the top ten, but there's several right outside the top ten as the point will go back to Cathedral again, and now a three-point lead here in the second set. Cathedral's down two to nothing. Side out Irish once again. Very good on the receiving end again by Johnson. Back the other way after the free ball and the big time swing and the hit from the outside. Another kill there for Mallory Dills. She is living off that outside left. And they have set her up very well and Right now, Shatard does not have an answer on this run. So six straight points now. Ball played at the net. Another free ball back to the Irish. Back set, slide to the right. On the cross court, nice play by Thatcher. Another freebie returned. And the Irish missed playing on that back row. Probably should have let it go. But Shatard will get the point, And it's now 6-3. By the way, speaking of these two teams, when you talk about football, we will have... Chittard and Cathedral Friday night one of our five games I believe we have five or six games coming up on Friday night including five games one of those would be a radio game slide to the right Chittard able to keep it alive must get the return here they went deep and that'll be a re return error on Chittard that'll be a heck of a game between Cathedral and Bishop Chittard coming up on Friday night, though Cathedral has kind of owned that series over the last few years. Nice hit in the middle. Of course, Cathedral moving up to the 6A ranks as that ball is wide of the mark. And now Cathedral has outscored Chittard 8-1 since that early 2-0 lead by the Trojans. Outside, and the point. There is Lauren Shanks from the left side with a kill. And Grace Feltz will be serving. Minus four here in the second set. Cathedral's been able to run off several points in a row, and they're going to do it again on the outside. The swing and the hit by Taylor Lewis. Well, we have called Josie Myers, Avery Lewis, Taylor Lewis, and Mallory Dills a lot tonight. That's where they're getting their points. As you see, Josie Myers back in at six foot two. They can replace size with size off that bench. Short set to the middle. Good defensive play there by the Fighting Irish. To the outside, ball kept alive and returned. 
And misplayed by Shatard. That point will go back to Cathedral. Serving for Cathedral is, well, we're going to get a timeout before we do anything. The Trojans get the timeout here. This is High School Volleyball in Indiana SRN. I'm Keith Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. You know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year. All sorts of sports. Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasrn.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. So the Irish now with a commanding six point lead here in the second set. The Trojans had to get another timeout. There's a big time block up front and the violation will be four hits against Chittard. So now the lead it's seven. Right now this game being won really up front. Cathedral just with the amount of size they have and Chittard really not able to do anything against those big long arms. Outside, down the line, and the point again. Number 12, Taylor Lewis, the 6'1 junior. And by the way, Taylor Lewis only a junior. Avery Lewis a freshman. Josie Myers only a sophomore. All those players coming back. We haven't seen Kate Kabaki yet. She's 5'9". And the point from the middle. Shatard able to come back, get the point. That'll be Lauren Shanks, the 5'8 senior, getting the point. Take another look at it right here. Nice back set there by Lexi Thatcher. Side out, Riley Kramer. Need a start. In fact, that's just their second service error. I was going to say they need to get a run going like how they started this game. They got up two to nothing. But the good news again, only their second service air of the night. They've got to clean some things up on the receiving side and not have so many free balls that they've given up here in the first two sets. Plus eight, Cathedral side out. Utley on the serve. Let's see what the Trojans will do with it. There's a big block up front again. That is just so hard to try to get by. Taylor Lewis at 6-1 and Josie Myers at 6-2. They really do a nice job in that tandem work up front. So the lead at nine now. And another ace on the other side. The Irish. Now starting to pull away as Utley gets the ace. And the biggest lead of the second set now at 10. It's been a 15 to three run here by the Fighting Irish. Almost misplayed again by the Trojans. Here come the Fighting Irish back again from the left side. Lewis, the quick return. Utley's there for Cathedral. Ball played near the net, but not quite far enough. It was intended for Taylor Lewis, but the set came up just a little bit short. Back in the lineup now for Chittard will be Amira Lockett and side out here for Lauren Shanks. Cathedral has yet to commit a service error. They're off the heels of serving very well as that will be an ace and the point for the Trojans. They serve very well against Columbus East and even serve well against Fishers. Not as good against Providence, Providence but still at 90% and there's another point. Irish miscommunication on that back row. So the run put together here by Shanks and the Trojans now trailing 
Went back to the middle again, to the outside. And the ball hit into the net, kept alive. Nice play by the Trojans in the middle. Getting a hand on it there for Chittard was Lockett. And a free ball back. Back set right. Good volley down the line. Point once again, Lexi Thatcher. Best volley we have seen tonight. Take another look at it. From just inside the attack line, and then nobody there. Good vision by Thatcher. So now the lead at six. This is exactly what the Trojans needed. A little sweep of that right hand, nothing. And a free ball back once again to the Irish. Middle set and with a lot of authority. Josie Myers. Side out, Taylor Lewis and Cathedral. So they stop the run. Irish still lead it by seven. To the outside and another block. That very well may have been. Well, it wasn't Myers. Looked like that was, if that was number eight, Mallory Dills. It may have been Dills. We'll check that if we can get an opportunity to do so. And there's another ball misplayed by the Trojans. And those are unforced errors. You cannot do that against good teams like Cathedral, especially since they're hungry for a win. Back to nine. Outside, another block. I guarantee Myers was up there. And it was, by the way, Hannah Barbie, the other player on that front row, Barbie at 5'10". Time out on the floor, leads at 10. This is high school volleyball in Indiana SRN. They say nice guys don't finish first. So maybe it's time to reconsider what it means to be first. It's about being your best, but knowing you could be even better. It's being present, but respectful of history. You sure you want to make that move? It's donating something more valuable than money. It's believing in yourself and something bigger. It's coming from different families, but treating each other like brothers. It's not just being a man, it's being a mason. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. Things change quickly in this one. Side out Cathedral as Chittard missed playing that one behind the attack line as Lauren Shanks started to make her move up and then hesitated for just a moment and it cost them the point. So Cathedral making another strong run here in the second set, leading it 20 to nine. On the return, nothing from the attack line. Big time hit again from the middle. And the Irish now dominating this one 20 to nine. This set was close very early, but it's been all Irish since then. Four to go to take a two to nothing lead. And another ace. They had been perfect tonight. Speaking of the fighting Irish in the serving department, not one service error yet. Yeah, will the Derengowski jinx be there, huh? Oh, no, it's not. The sweep in the middle, nothing. Back to the other side, and the point for the Irish again. They went back to Myers in the middle at 6-2. Boy, Myers, can you imagine when she gets in the weight room for the next couple of years, what a force she will be in the middle for the Irish. 23-9, side out Irish once again. Holding Bishop Chittard to just one. And there is Myers again. <laughs> Myers is playing out of her mind here tonight. We are at a set point. 
Really thought that size would be a huge factor, and that has been the case tonight. Chance to win it right here. Ball played at the net, and the point will go to the Irish, and they win it 25 to 9, and now take a commanding two games to none lead. This is high school volleyball on Indiana SRN. A career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with Indy as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. This is the Frells family's land. When the sun comes out, the kids run and play right there. This used to be a shed. Now, it's where they get breakfast. This is more than just land. It's home. The Frells family runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor. This land isn't the only thing that should live on for generations. Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere 1 Series for more. Visit Reynolds Farm Equipment, your hometown John Deere dealer today, at ReynoldsFarmEquipment.com. Needing to hire someone to take care of your loved one when you're away? Maybe your family member just needs someone to talk to when you're not around. Why not contact Indiana Licensed Serenity Care Services? Call Angela, owner of Serenity Care Services, at 317-900-6202. Our team of trained and experienced personal care providers are licensed to serve seniors requiring companion care and light housekeeping services in Indianapolis and its five surrounding counties. Call us today at 317-900-6202. Now hiring qualified. Back here at Bishop Chatard, want to remind you tonight's game brought to you in part by Tam Sweet and Savory Cafe. A great atmosphere for breakfast or brunch open Wednesday through Sunday, 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Tam and your staff waiting to serve you and your family. Try the biscuits and gravy or the quiche. Coach recommends the BLT as well. Tam's located at 6427 Oakland and Road here in Indianapolis. You see the matchups coming up on Friday night, all the games on the family networks here on Indiana SRN. We will be from South Bend, as our producer reminds me, all the way to Evansville. I don't think anybody else in the state is doing that much coverage of high school football. And we, by the way, will be at week Four. The AP poll came out. The coaches poll came out today. Not a whole lot of changes in all the classes. You can see all those ratings on the sports page tomorrow morning. We also have them on our partner website, RadioTroy.com. By the way, the volleyball, volleyball polls I have not seen today. The cross-country polls are out. Boys tennis polls are out. Soccer polls are out as well. Those are on our websites as well so here we go cathedral again perfect in the serving department they're playing really loose right now you can tell they lead this in two sets thus far because they have really dominated and another receiving air by Shatard on a serve down the line Shatard might be making a change i saw the head official oh, others going to get the ball back here so good start here for the Fighting Irish. They were down two to nothing in that second set. And then just simply went on a nice run the rest of the way. Chittard making the return from the attack line. Ball played at the net again. You've got to make sure if you're gonna set it, don't set it at the net the way Bishop Chittard has done. There's another attack error on Chittard. And so now two to nothing Cathedral. That one clipping the top of the net. In fact, they have not even hit the net. That's how well they've been serving. On the return from the outside, Lockett 
and it is wide. And here's one mistake you don't want to do, and that is get behind Cathedral another three or four points. Ball set at the net again. See, that's a receiving error they're going to have to work on before their next match is they got to keep the ball on their side and the offensive side of things so they can look to get a point. But you set it right there, and those long arms are killing you, and there's another receiving error for the Trojans. Will there be a timeout right here by Chittard? They will make a change. They will bring into the ball game Renee Waugh, who will come in. And I believe out of the ball game, Lauren Shanks. So 5 nothing, and there is your first service error of the night by the Fighting Irish. Ellie Deck will come in now for Shatard. She's a 5'7 junior. Deck will wear number six. So Shatard making some changes here in this third set, trying to get some players some playing time. Ball set behind the attack line, and it's in, or nope, they're gonna see it was long. Very close on the end line as Lockett tried to get the point. Side out, Fighting Irish, plus five. And this looks like Mallory Dills on the serve. Back set, it wasn't toward the net. See, the momentum there for Lockett was going toward the net, but the set went behind her. Now Lockett from the other side. Irish from the left. Big time hit, nice play at the net. Kept alive, and what do we have? We have a net violation. Nope, they're going to say four hits instead. It looked like maybe Lockett got hung up in the net as well. But the point will go to the Fighting Irish, now leading it by six. Another change as Ava Ecklebarger has come in. I believe that's who they said came in. We'll try to check that. It was either her or Ali Armour. Might have been Armour in. Ball played at the net, nice job that time, and the block up front again. This time, number 14, Avery Lewis. You can put a star by Dills, Taylor Lewis, Avery Lewis, and Josie Myers for the way they played in that front row. They have been just trouble tonight for Bishop Chittard. To the outside, down the line, and it's just a little bit wide. Point will go to the Trojans. Cathedral making a change in their lineup. Jordan Peter will come in, a junior outside hitter and also a defensive specialist. Allie Armour, you see number 25, leaving the lineup for the Trojans. And Tristan Morris is in the lineup, will be serving now for Bishop Chittard, and that is only their third service error of the night. Irish making some changes as well as we will see Katie Bartle come in. Both teams getting a chance to get several players into the lineup here in this one. Back set to the right. And it goes wide off of the swing of Grace Feltz. But again, you're looking at Josie Myers up front. It's just so hard to get it around those long arms. And the lead now at eight for Cathedral. Short serve to the outside. Another block up front again, Myers. And that's going to be short as Chittard. Another costly mistake, now down by nine. And that's a tough one. You know, people think that is an easy serve. That is not an easy serve, and it's not easily received on the other end as well. That's a big time hit from the left side by Lauren Shanks. Trojans, side out. And this will be Grace Feltz. Need a good run right here. Get back into this one. 
Ball played at the net, and it will be kept alive, but a free ball returned back to the Fighting Irish. Quick sweep with the right hand by Utley, and that's going to be long on the return, and the point will go to the Fighting Irish. Cathedral making another change. Addison Beckmeyer out of the lineup. And looks like we'll also see coming in for Cathedral is number 10, Ryan Cunningham, a 5A junior. So plus nine, and here is Cameron Utley on the serve. Irish have only trailed, I believe, once, and that was in the second set when they were down two to nothing. And a receiving air at the other end by Quinichet, Casey Quinichet in the lineup now for, or take that back. That was number six that time for Chittard, which is Ellie Deck. And the lead at 10. There's an air is the second service air. I believe it is only the two to nothing deficit they had in that second set. May have been tied in the first set at one point. Here's Riley Kramer serving out for the Trojans, minus nine here in the third set. Well, this is a good setup here if you're the Irish. Boy, there's a lot of power in the middle there. Again, Josie Myers. This is going to be a good one. When you think about for Cathedral, and they have to play at Lawrence North on Thursday, Chittard will rebound from this. Believe me, they've learned a lot here tonight to get them ready for their next matchup and also... Some of the teams are going to face down the road. The Let's see another change for Emick. Cathedral as Aaron Emick will come in. Now Emick is at six foot. And she's another middle hitter. As we said, there are seven players 5'10 or taller, so they've got a lot to choose from. Chittard back set on the slide to the right. Ball kept alive, but then it goes wide. Unable to keep it there with Sam Hansen for Cathedral. Side out once again for Bishop Chittard. This will be Lawrence Shanks. Shanks leads the team at hitting percentage at 241. Coming into this one here tonight. Tack from the outside left and the point good. There is Emick. Emick doesn't see as much playing time but still effective coming in. Another six-footer again off that bench. Side out, Irish leading it by 10. Each team really substituting freely here in this third set, trying to get as many players in as possible. Let's see what the Trojans can do. Set to the outside left, ball returned to the middle. Kept alive there by Utley from the attack line. Nice play there by Johnson. Utley again set to the outside. Johnson again able to get the receive, and let's see what the Irish can do here. And we'll give a freebie back. Utley able to keep it alive off that short set on the return, and the point good to the outside. That'll be Aaron Emick once again for the Fighting Irish. And the lead at 11. Defensively, Cathedral has played very well tonight. There have been some mistakes, yes, by Chittard, as that'll be an attack error the other way by Madeline Lunsford. But this defense has played so well here tonight for the Fighting Irish, and that'll be long. That is the third service error. Each team now with three. And side out here for Bishop Chittard. Good look there at Quinn Johnson. Johnson had some nice spin on that one, and that's going to go wide. And the point will go to the Trojans. So the lead back to 10.
Trojans are gonna have to have a really strong run right here to the middle. Boy, and that's a stopper. That's a short set right on the table there for Avery Lewis. You could not have set that up any better for the freshman from Cathedral. Side up, Fighting Irish, plus 11. Another good serve. Let's see what the Trojans can do with it. Went back middle, and the Irish will make the return, so a free ball here. Sweep with the right hand, and it's good. That is Lexi Thatcher once again up front. Ellie Deck will come back in for Chittard. This will be Thatcher side out for Bishop Chittard. Things are a little bit different here when you think about for Cathedral. That's going to be too strong on the swing. But Cathedral using several different lineups here now in this third set. Players that don't naturally play with each other and get as much playing time together in game time situations as the starters would. So let's see how they gel here. There is a service air on Chittard. That'll be number four. That is one area where Chittard can build some positives for their next matchup as they did serve a whole lot better tonight than they did in their last matchup. In fact, the last two games against Tri-West Hendricks and Lawrence North. Trojans to the outside. That one very soft as the Irish coming back the other way and it's kept alive but then set on a platter again. You have to love it if you're Avery Lewis because that was just set perfectly right at the net. Take another look at this one. That was a great play, though. The other way for Chittard, unfortunately. There's a service error. If you were the Trojans, it was sent right there for Lewis. By the way, Allie Armour is back in for Chittard, and she's now out of the line. If we'll see Tristan... Morris come back in, the junior. We saw Morris a few moments ago getting a chance to serve. The lead is still at 10. So we made it to the magical 20. Free ball there. Let's see what Chittard can do with it. And they will score. Nice play to the outside. And that'll be Shanks. Lauren Shanks, the 5'8 senior outside hitter. So now the deficit for Bishop Chittard is at nine. This is Morris side out. Went deep middle. And nice strike up front. Defended well. And this will be in for the point. And that one had eyes. I think it was Utley who was able to get that one. Cameron Utley there for Cathedral. Kind of see her reaction there. She was a little bit surprised herself. Hey, you see Myers back in once again for Cathedral. To play that front row. Jordan Peter is also in for the Fighting Irish, wearing number nine. From inside the attack line, nothing there. There's Utley. And unable to play that one is Bishop Chittard. The point will go to Cathedral, and now they're only three away from the sweep. Side out, Fighting Irish looking to go to 9-5 and five on the year, ranked number 18 in our power poll. Off the left-hand swing by Deck, and the Irish unable to get the point. So Trojans point, side out. Sarah McGillicuddy is coming back in, or I thought she was coming in. Instead, it'll be number 15, which is Charlotte Dudick. Charlotte Dudick is a 5'8 freshman, and side out for the Trojans, minus 10. Feltz on the serve. Big time swing off the right hand. There's Myers again. If you're 6-2, you have to love that set when it's a short set and it is perfect right at the net. Sam Hansen back in. 
now for Cathedral. And we're down to the final two right here. Now we wait as the official at the scores table. It will be, I believe, Utley who will serve. Back to serve for the Irish, number seven. Kevin Irish Utley. looking to snap a two-match losing streak. They've lost three out of four, but they have come back out here with a mission in this one before that Lawrence North matchup. Chittard able to make the return to the outside left. Chittard once again swept with a left hand by Deck. Irish down the line and the point good for the Irish and we are now to match point. And serving will be Utley. You see the team right behind the varsity, the JV and the freshman teams and the ace by Utley ends it here tonight as the Irish take it 25-10, 25-9, and 25-12. And what a night tonight for that front row for Cathedral. They were dominant here this evening. It was Taylor Lewis. You also let Avery Lewis. You can't say enough about the way that Josie Myers played tonight and Mallory Dills played as well. So great night tonight for the Fighting Irish. They move now to nine and five on the season. Chittard will fall below the 500 mark. They are now five and six on the year. Thanks to the entire crew. Great job again tonight bringing you high school volleyball. And there you see the final scores, 25-10, 25-9 and 25-12. Thanks for being with us. This has been High School Volleyball on Indiana SRN.